Hello everybody, Super Goal 6, Unit 5, Making Choices for Language in Context, page number 52. Now let's take a look at the objectives. Number 1, answer and discuss the given questions. Number 2, listen to answer the given questions. Number 3, practice pronouncing common cluster, uh, consonant cluster correctly. And number 3, answer some questions about you so the title of this unit which is unit number five is making choices please move on to page number 52 so right now the first thing we will be looking at is for language in context now we have a list of uh, things that may have an effect on your life you're supposed to discuss them in small groups now how will the following things affect your life كيف من الممكن ان تكون هذه الاشياء تاثر على حياتك as you know if we're talking about causes and effects we can use if conditional sentences اذا احنا نتكلم كالعاده عن الكازز الاسباب واثارها او نتائجها بامكاننا ان احنا نستخدم الاف Conditional sentence. Okay, so let's take a look here. Go to college, learn English well, save some money, move to another town, travel to another country, get good grades, get a scholarship, get a lot of money. Now, for example, you can say, if I get a lot of money, I might buy a house. For example, okay, if I save money, I might buy a new, a new cell phone. Okay, if I travel to other countries, I may uh, or I might learn about different cultures. Okay, so here what you are going to do is that you are going to formulate sentences using this pattern or the structure form if plus present plus may oh sorry comma may or might and يعني اذا كانت الجمله طبعا negative you can use not طبعا احنا راح نتبع هال pattern form او the structure form to talk about causes and effects طبعا نستخدم may or might to talk about possibility يعني للأشياء الممكنة they might يعني these things uh, may possibly happen but you are not certain لكن أنت مو متأكد alright so this is what you are gonna do right now so you are gonna go back to the giving uh, examples and you are gonna formulate sentences using this pattern form or using this pattern now let's move on to the listening part in this listening part, you are going to listen to the radio program with representative of the Farmers Association and the Highway Department of the issue of the road. Which of the arguments are mentioned in the program? Check them. الآن راح تستمعون لمحادثة بين ممثل رابطة المزارعين وكذلك ممثل للطرق السريعة لقسم الطرق السريعة بخصوص مشكلة الطريق Now which of the arguments أي من هذول الأشياء تم ذكرهم في البرنامج You have to check them So get ready right now to listen to the conversation to, uh, Sorry to the radio program And to the representative of the Farmers Association and of the highway department on the issue of the road so please listen carefully and check the things or the arguments that are mentioned in the for in the program five listening a listen to the radio program with representatives of the farmers association and of the highway department on the issue of the road which of the arguments are mentioned in the program? Check them. In today's program, Your Side of the Story, we are going to interview Mr. Russell Murray, 
who represents the Farmers Association of Bellevue, and Mr. Jason Ryland of the Highway Department. Mr. Murray, I understand that you're organizing a protest march in favor of the farmers. Why? If we don't bring our problem to town and let the people know what's going on, we'll lose one of the most scenic routes in our state. We think that people will be against the highway. And how else will the new highway affect the people of this city? If the highway cuts through the Bellevue area, new housing projects and factories will go up, and they will pollute the river. People will start drinking contaminated water. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Ryland? That isn't true. If factories go up near the river, they will have to obey environmental standards. They won't be able to dump their chemicals into the river. And will farmers lose their land and have to move out? Actually, their land will be worth much more. They will be able to sell their land at very high prices. They'll be able to buy land in other areas. The highway means good things. It will bring development and it will create hundreds of new jobs. Should we stop progress and save the scenic route? What do you think? Please call and give your opinion. If you agree with Mr. Murray, call 800-555-6831. If you agree with Mr. Ryland, call 800-555-6832. So right now, let's check the things that are the arguments that are mentioned in the program. So, people will lose a scenic route. Also, uh, factories will pollute the river. Also, drinking water will be bad. And also, factories won't dump chemicals into the river. Farmers can buy new farms and the development will create hundreds of jobs. So right now you're supposed to listen again and write if, if the representative of the Farmers Association says it, or H or H, if the representative of the Highway Department says it. مطلوب منكم يكون تستمعون مرة أخرى للمقطع وتكتبون if في حال أن تم ذكره من قبل ممثل رابطة المزارعين. أو H H letter H إذا تم ذكره من ممثل اللي هو الطرق السريعة أو قسم الطرق السريعة. Alright, so listen again and don't forget to write if if the representative of the Farmers Association says it or H if the representative of the Highway Department says it. B Listen again and write F if the representative of the Farmers Association says it, or H if the representative of the Highway Department says it. In today's program, Your Side of the Story, we are going to interview Mr. Russell Murray, who represents the Farmers Association of Bellevue, and Mr. Jason Ryland of the Highway Department. Mr. Murray, I understand that you're organizing a protest march in favor of the farmers. Why? If we don't bring our problem to town and let the people know what's going on, we'll lose one of the most scenic routes in our state. We think that people will be against the highway. And how else will the new highway affect the people of this city? If the highway cuts through the Bellevue area, New housing projects and factories will go up, and they will pollute the river. People will start drinking contaminated water. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Ryland? That isn't true. If factories go up near the river, they will have to obey environmental standards. They won't be able to dump their chemicals into the river. And will farmers lose their land and have to move out? Actually, their land will be worth much more. They will be able to sell their land at very high prices. They'll be able to buy land in other areas. 
The highway means good things. It will bring development and it will create hundreds of new jobs. Should we stop progress and save the scenic route? What do you think? Please call and give your opinion. If you agree with Mr. Murray, call 800-555-6831. If you agree with Mr. Ryland, call 800-555-6832. Okay, so right now, let's take a look at the things or the argument which are mentioned in the program. And which one is says by uh, the or by the farmer of association, and which one is says uh, by the representative of the highway department? Now people will lose scenic route. It says by the farmer, uh, the farmers association. So F. Also factories will pollute the river. F. And drinking water will be bad if as well. Now factories won't dump chemicals into the river into the river is H and farmers can buy new farms H and the development will create hundreds of jobs H as well. Now let's take a look at C. Discuss whether you support the farmers association or the highway department give reasons for your positions okay طبعا ممكن الان تناقشون اذا كنتوا تدعمون رابطه المزارعين ورايهم طبعا او تدعمون ممثل الطرق السريعه وبامكانكم برضو اعطاء اسباب لهذا الاختيار alright now let's move on to the pronunciation part. You are supposed to notice the common consonant cluster at the beginning of words and later on you're supposed to practice pronouncing them. So get ready to listen and please afterward don't forget to practice pronouncing these common consonant clusters. Consonant clusters at the beginning of words. Then practice. S P speed T R traffic C R crowd P R protest G R grow Okay, so right now let's move on to answer some questions about you. Now, have you ever had to make a difficult choice in your life? What were the options and what were the positive and negative results? هل سبق وكان وان كان عليك اختيار او الاختيار او انك يعني مثلا تتخذ قرار صعب في حياتك؟ ما هي الخيارات اللي كانت عندك؟ وكيف كانت وكيف كانت النتائج او الاثار او النتيجه هل كانت ايجابيه ام سلبيه Now number 2 have you ever helped a friend to decide a personal dilemma tell about it هل سبق وان ساعد صديق في مثلا يقرر بخصوص مشكله شخصيه مثلا كبيره او صعبه ممكن تخبرنا عنها Now number 3 what are the most common important choices young people in your country have to make? ما هي القرارات الصعبة الشائعة اللي يتخذها لصغار السن في دولتك؟ Okay. Now, if you have answers to any of these given three questions, you can just leave them in the comment box below. So that's it. We have reached the end of the lesson. I hope that you have enjoyed our lesson as usual. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends and hit the like button. Till next time, have a good one.